Today we will be creating this hypsometric tinting map in Mapbox Studio with 3D elevation. As you can see, when you tilt this map, um, it sort of comes to life and the coloring is based off of the elevation as well as the 3D contours. So the first thing we'll do to start creating this map is jump into Mapbox Studio. We're going to click New Style and select the Outdoors map style because it has all the terrain components built in and we'll click customize outdoors to get ready. Great, so the first thing that I want to do is jump over to the Himalayas because it has just such great contrast between low and very high level elevation. We're going to zoom in until we see the contour lines. Perfect. And now we'll click anywhere on the map. We're going to go to Layers and select Contour Line. This will bring up the Contour Line layer in the Layers view. And we're going to scroll down until we see Contour Line. And we're going to duplicate this layer. Uh, we now have a second Contour Line layer. But we're going to rename this uh, Tinting Layer. Great, now we're going to change the data by selecting Select Data. And we're going to change it from a line type into a fill extrusion type. This pop-up is saying since we're changing the type of the data that the styling is also going to change. Um, so you saw what was previously like the line data is now uh, large polygons for the fill extrusion and this is because the uh, lines are kind of now being colored in as like a whole polygon. So we're going to switch back to the style tab and we're going to first fix the color so that way we can see kind of like what we're doing we're going to click style across data range and we're going to pick the elevation data so we're actually going to start off at about 2000 so the himalayas is quite high above sea level and we'll do this really bright red and we're going to keep going about jump about 1000 every time and we're going to go through the whole rainbow so be 4000 and you can see that I'm picking on the color picker here and just kind of making the saturation as high as possible so 5000 and I'll make a nice rich green So you can kind of see now really kind of where the elevation is changing and kind of how dramatic that change is based off of the gradient you're seeing. Finally, we'll put this down to about 7,000 and we'll make it violet. Cool. And now that the colors are done, we want to extrude these um, so that we have 3D elevation. So we'll do the same thing. Um, where we click style across data range and select elevation again. For the elevation, let's start at zero and we'll have it as zero meters. And then when it gets to 8,840 meters, we'll just do the same thing. So it scales correct. Cool, now you can see kind of already that there's a 3D shape to it. But what's even more amazing is when you change the pitch of the map, you can see it really comes to life. And you can keep changing the bearing and the pitch to really get that full 3D effect. And you can see um, exactly how the contours move around the mountains um, within the Himalayas. Great, and once you're done with the map, you can click Publish. This view brings up what we started with and the changes that we've made. So you can tell we've made some pretty big changes on this map. Once you're satisfied with it, you can click Publish. And now to start using the map, you can click Share. You can send this link out to friends by clicking the Copy button here, or you can start getting started with this map in an application by selecting the application you want to use, and then the style URL and your access token. And that's it.